Hello and welcome to Simple IELTS Solution. I'm Simon, I'm an IELTS teacher. In today's video, we're gonna look at an IELTS speaking part three question and model answer about toys. I just wanna tell you about my IELTS speaking course, which is available with the link in the description below. And this is gonna do three things for you. There are a lot of courses out there, so I understand it's very difficult to make a decision as to which one's right for you. Mine only lasts for five hours, so it's not gonna take up all of your time. It's quite easy to complete. I'm gonna show you how you can structure your answers in part one, part two, and part three. If you've got a structure for your answer, it makes answering a lot easier because then all you have to think about is the idea and maybe some vocabulary. Also, I'm gonna tell you about what you can do if you get stuck, how you can give yourself more time and what you can do if you really don't know what to say. So that's my IELTS speaking course and the link's in the description below. Right, without further ado, let's get started. So we're looking at an IELTS speaking part three model answer about toys. What is the difference between toys kids play with now and those they played with in the past? This is a compare and contrast question, which is one of the most difficult questions to answer in part three. Why don't you pause the video here, answer the question yourself and then see how I've answered. On the whole, it's mainly to do with technology and imagination. Back in the day, toys were a lot more low tech and much simpler. They relied on imagination and I think kids really got a kick out of inventing stories and situations that happened to their favorite doll. These days, technology has taken over and for the most part, games are electronic based. Computer games and electronic worlds have taken over. Just look at the huge popularity of games like Minecraft. When I was growing up, we had Lego. These days, you can make almost anything as long as it's in a virtual world, but not in the real world. So I've highlighted the vocabulary that I'm going to talk about here. So let's have a look. So linking phrase discourse marker on the whole. That means mostly. So that's how I started on the whole. Vocabulary wise, we got back in the day. This is a great phrase for talking about something in the past that happened for a long time usually. Back in the day, in the past. Low tech is an adjective. It's low technology, something simple, relied on. Say phrasal verb actually. And that's to depend on, taken over, another phrasal verb. And that's to become more popular. But this is in the past, taken over. In the present would be to take over. And then growing up, phrasal verb again, become older. Remember, want to show some of that less common and idiomatic language to get band seven or more for lexical resource. Phrasal verbs are good for that. So there we have it. That's my part three model answer for a compare and contrast question. If you wanna go back and have a look, you'll see that I speak about one thing and then I speak about something else. Some students mix and match and they go from talking about one thing to the other thing, to this thing, to that thing. But that gets a little bit confusing for you to think about and also for the person listening to the answer to also understand what you're talking about. So I think it's much better to talk about one thing, so one side of it, and then talk about the other side of it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're getting value out of my video. And also you can share it with your friends or anyone else that you think it would help. If you wanna see how I tackle difficult questions about headphones, check out this video here. If you want to see how I would plan an IELTS writing task two essay, check out this video here. Thank you very much for joining me. It's great to see you and I look forward to seeing you next time. 
Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.